Welcome back. This is Angela again from the WAC. We'll be going through a balancing yoga practice today, so we'll be working with different kinds of balances. And the purpose of balances is not to necessarily find more equanimity and balance in our bodies, although that is a side effect, but I like to think of it how our mind is working within the balance, keeping that equanimity within our mind with all the calibrations or tripping or whatever's happening on the outside, being okay with that. So have fun and we'll, we'll begin now. <laughs> so we're gonna start on our mat standing today and we'll have the feet hip width apart. So just see that about two fist fit between the feet to get that distance of hip width apart. And we're gonna start in Tadasana, mountain pose. So lift and spread the toes here and just draw the hands up to the sides, palms open and let the eyes close. Maybe they're gently open, but just keep a soft gaze. And just notice where your stance is here today. Notice where your breath and heartbeat is within this stance. And then we're gonna just do a body scan from the ground up, energizing through our Tadasana. So notice the outer edge of the right, or of both pinky toes and then the inner edge of the heel. So cross-referencing the feet and then noticing the ball mound of the big toe and the outer edge of the heels. Notice them grounding nice and carefully. And then noticing that midpoint through the arch of the foot. There's a subtle grip to the thighs here as we lift the knees, feel that nice rooting action in the feet also growing up through the arches of the feet as the legs are energized. Feel the sit bones root down toward the earth. Low ribs are drawing in toward the hip points. So see that you're not flailing out the heart or belly here. And shoulder blades can just draw up, back, and down, releasing softly down the back. Let the head and neck be nice and buoyant. Slight throat lock as we draw the chin back subtly, just creating length in the back of the neck. And find a few deep breaths in this nice, Aware mountain stance. And then we're going to let the eyes gently open. And we're just gonna open up the side body here. So letting that left hand rest on the thigh, inhale the right arm up and exhale. Just reach it over to the side. Keep that nice even rooting in the feet. Right hips come out to the right side and maybe the gaze comes up toward that right inner arm. Couple deep inhales and exhales into that right lung. And then inhale using the core to bring you back up. We'll release that right hand on the right thigh. Take that side bend to the other side. So maybe your gaze looks up at that inner left arm. And a few breaths into that left lung. Inhale back to center. And as you exhale, cactus out the arms and lift the heart here, taking a slight back bend, but working not to collapse into the lower back as much as we're letting the back of the heart descend. We're keeping the lower ribs and hip bones drawing in toward one another. And then we'll inhale, rise it back up and exhale. Open, cactus out the arms. Two more of those, airing out the front body. Inhale and exhale. Good. Last one. Inhale. Nice and tall. And exhale. Inhale back to center and just let the arms release down. So we're just going to check in with our balance before we start moving more. So just ground more through that right foot. And going for a tree pose. So we'll start low and come up as high as we want. Maybe we come to the left toes and the heel presses in toward the ankle. Maybe we lift it toward the calf. Maybe we take it to the upper inner thigh. Just make sure you're not pressing onto the knee there. And wherever you are, feel that connection. The thigh and foot are pressing in toward one another. Sit bones are reaching down and maybe your hands come to heart center. Maybe they come up and just breathing here. If you're stumbling or wobbling, just breathing into that. Our balances help us stay super present because there's nothing to do but worry or not worry, we're not worrying. We're just, we're just simply working on balancing. And one more inhale. As you exhale, release down, shake it off as you need to. 
and we'll come right over to the other side. So left foot plants down. We can pop out that right knee and maybe come up to the calf, inner thigh. Find that pressing, rooting of the soles of the feet into the thigh here as the thigh roots back. And then hands to heart center, maybe they raise overhead. And breathing here, finding your dristi. So a still point in front of you and just letting your gaze, your breath infuse that. Noticing your body strengthen and open into the balance. And then letting yourself release out, shaking it off. So we're gonna come to the tops of our mats and finding a chair pose. We'll keep those feet hip width apart in this chair pose. So inhale, arms rise up. As you exhale, bend into the knees. Now see that the knees aren't coming in or out, that they're right over the feet here and that you can see the toes here. Keep driving into the heels and then draw the sit bones down toward the heels here to lengthen out through the lower back. Good, one more inhale. And as you exhale, just let yourself fold belly resting on the thighs and we'll walk back to a tabletop here. I'm actually, no, I'll stay here for now. In this variation of the tabletop, we're gonna find a shoulder stretch. So planting more through that left hand, inhale, right arm rises here, opening it up. And as you exhale, thread the needle, right shoulder, right side of the face, release onto the earth. And take a few moments here. Maybe the hand stays, the left hand stays right alongside the face for support. Maybe it reaches above the mat. Maybe it binds here. Just finding a nice shoulder stretch. And then gently, if that left hand went anywhere else, we'll release it back alongside the face. Inhale, right arm rises. And exhale, release it down. We'll do the other side. Right hand plants down. Inhale, left arm rises. And exhale, weave it through, threading the needle. Left shoulder, left side of the face, release onto the earth taking whatever variation with that right arm is serving you best today. Tops of the feet, shin bones grounding down, sit bones lifting, breath nice and free. And then we'll release that right hand back, inhale, left arm rises, opening it up, and exhale, release it back down. Finding our first balance here, Grip through the fingertips here so that you're not planting a lot of hands in the wrist. Get nice and buoyant and almost like our hands are little suction cups. And we're going to inhale, release that right leg back. Nice, strong, flexing through the toes. And just look down, see that your toes are pointing toward the earth here. And maybe that left arm comes out too, keeping the core engaged. And another breath here. And I'm just going to switch my view here. So next, exhale, draw that left hand back down and draw that right leg over to the right, letting it hover here. And just take a few pulses here. Maybe this is kind of intense and maybe we just let it lower and work to lift it slightly. But just moving with the breath, inhale to raise and exhale to lower. So next inhale, we'll raise it up and draw it back and coming back to our tabletop, we'll take the balance to the other side. So letting that left leg lengthen back, really rooting through the heel, toes flexing down, just taking a look at the toes. If the pinky toe is pointing toward the floor, it means you're keeping those hips nice and stable and level here. And then right arm can come out. Feel yourself calibrate, balance there. And then we'll return that right hand down, inhale left leg over to the left side, awkward airplane, just let it hover and maybe start to take some pulsations. Inhale to rise, exhale to release. Feel that outer thigh and glute start to activate here. Good, we'll inhale it back up, draw it back, finding our tabletop once again. And from here, we're gonna go right to a downward facing dog. So it's our only downward dog of the class, so let's have fun with it. Walking the hands forward, spreading the fingertips wide. Inhale, tuck the toes, glide the hips up and back, downward facing dog. 
And maybe we find a slight movement in our downward facing dog. Maybe we bend into one knee or another. Just seeing where you feel it most here. Rooting into the finger mounds, thumb mounds, toe mounds. Lift and spread the toes here. Micro bend into the knees as you feel the sit bones lift. Take a deep inhalation here and a deep exhale. Take your gaze forward and we'll make our way to the top of our mat. Slowly tiptoeing, stretching out the hamstrings, finding a rag doll here. So feet hip width apart and parallel, finding opposite elbows. Just let yourself hang. With that nice generous bend in the knees, letting the belly rest on the thighs. In order to take this stretch into the lower back, letting the spine decompress rather than focusing on lengthening the hamstrings here. Very good for the lower back. Good, and let your next exhalation release the hands to the earth or shin bones. We're gonna take an inhale, half lift. Exhale, folding in. Inhale, arms, gaze, heart lift. Exhale, hands to heart center. And just close the eyes here, let the arms release at the sides. Just take a few breaths, feeling how your mountain pose feels now. If there's any breath, heartbeat, energetic shifts from the beginning of class. And then we can let the hands release, let the eyes open. So we're gonna stay at the front of our mat. So our flow today is gonna to be transitioning through chair pose and we're gonna find some fun balances. Now I normally teach with props, so I'm not for this class, just because if you don't have props at home, I still want you to be able to participate. But if you have blocks or a pile of books or anything you wanna put in front, um, it can be a nice way to support yourself. So I'll cue without, but feel free to use some of that if you know you love them. So starting in chair pose, we'll keep the feet hip width apart, lift and spread the toes, inhale, arms up. And as you exhale, bending into the knees. Now just start to take the awareness of your weight into that left foot. And we're gonna step that right foot back, finding a crescent lunge. So just let the shoulders draw away from the ears. Left hips wrapping back, right hip forward, nice and strong here. And then we're gonna extend through our crescent lunge. So just tip yourself forward, notice the fingertips and that right heel reaching in opposite directions. Now options here, we're gonna to come to a warrior three. If you have those blocks or you wanna use the floor for support, you can return the hands down or you can try to just lift off here. Take whatever arm variation supports you. So maybe arms come to heart center, maybe they draw back, maybe they find that block or support right underneath you. And just find a few breaths stabilizing into this micro bend into that left foot. See that those right pinky toes are pointing down in order to keep our pelvis level. And one more breath here. Next exhale, bend into the knee, come back to your low lunge, or sorry, high lunge, crescent lunge, and we'll plant those hands down. Step forward, bending into the knees, inhale up, chair pose. Everyone's favorite pose. So starting to take your awareness more into that right foot, We'll step that left foot back, finding our crescent lunge. Always feel free to release the arms down or anything you need to do to get that support. Right hips wrapping back, left hip forward, and then extending into our crescent. Feel the fingertips and left heel reach in opposite directions. And just notice that nice long line here, preparing for your warrior three. So I'm just gonna press into that right heel, extend myself out. Maybe you found a different route there or maybe you're finding a different arm variation. Hands at heart center or air plating them. Notice yourself, calibrate, strengthen into the balance. Remaining completely present as we breathe into those calibrations. One more inhale and exhale, bend into that right knee settle back into your crescent lunge. Exhale, palms release to the earth. Step forward, chair pose. So we'll make these chair poses nice and quick since we're just using them for a transition.
So more weight into that left foot. We'll inhale, step that right foot back, ground that right heel, open the arms out, warrior two. So just setting yourself up here, see that that left knee is over the left heel and you're rooting through the outstep of that right foot and lengthening the shoulder blades through the fingertips. And then transitioning to our next balance, we'll take that right hand to the right hip, left hand plants onto the earth and just walk those fingertips forward onto the earth or a block as we extend that right leg back. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. So taking whatever variation of the balance is serving you, maybe you challenge yourself, start to hover. Keep rooting into that right heel, flexing the toes back, nice and strong, noticing that long line from the crown of the head through that right heel. One more breath here. Good, and we'll release the hands to the earth and just step that right foot down, bending into the knees, inhale up, chair pose. Transitioning the weight into the right foot, we'll inhale, step that left foot back, open out warrior two on the other side. Setting yourself up nice and strong here, drawing the shoulder blades back and down, right knee over right heel. And then taking that left hand to the left hip, we'll start to walk that right hand forward as we take off with that left foot. Half moon on the other side. Keep rotating that left hip, left side body up. And finding whatever variation, maybe that left arm extends up, maybe we hover here, breathing wherever we are. Good, and next exhale, we'll place both hands onto the earth, release that left foot down, bend into the knees, inhale. Almost our final chair pose. We're gonna jazz it up a little bit here. Bring the hands to heart center, and then cross that left elbow over the lower right thigh. So finding a twisted chair. And as you do that, just see that your knees are in line. So draw that right hip forward, left hip back, and draw your gaze up toward the ceiling. Couple breaths here. And challenge here. So do what you can. We're gonna ground more into that right foot and then step that left foot back, finding a twisted crescent lunge. Maybe you came out of it and just walked back to Twisted Crescent. Whatever variation you took is great. We're working on balance more in the mind than the body and hopefully working on it in the body translates to the mind. Good, and then we're gonna bring this to a twisted half moon. So right hand can come to the right hip. Just sprinkle those left fingertips to the earth, bend into that knee, extend that left leg back. So maybe that right hand rises Maybe our right gaze rises. We're breathing wherever we, are, wherever we are. And as long as we're doing that, it's great. Good, we can release that right hand back to the hip, bend back into the knee. Rotate out to frame that foot. As we inhale, step that left foot forward, finding our chair pose. And then twisting to the other side, so hands to heart center. Right elbow comes onto the outside of the left thigh. So twist your way up, gazing toward the ceiling, drawing that right knee back so that it's in line with the left, and then more weight coming into that left foot as we step back to our twisted crescent. Good. Rotate that left side body up, and preparing for our twisted half moon, taking the left hands to the hip point here, left hip, right fingertips sprinkle to the earth, start to walk yourself forward, lifting up that back right heel and taking your variation. Maybe that left arm extends, maybe it doesn't. Maybe we're just gazing at the floor. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Feeling our body calibrate into the twisted balance. Good, and then we'll rotate that left hand down and draw that right foot to the earth. Find a forward fold here, so just grab Opposite elbows, ragdoll, let yourself hang. Let the spine lengthen. Let the breath come free. Just letting go of 
anything, whatever happened in your balance practice. And I'm going to have three options here, so choose your journey. Maybe an option we stay, if we love this forward fold or want to take it deeper, we can wrap our hands around the ankles, pull the knees toward the armpits, and just let yourself descend. Great stretch for the spine. Maybe we walk the feet out about hip width apart, or even a little bit more, take the toes out, and let the hips drop down. Finding the elbows connecting to the inner thighs, and just find an awesome hip stretch, awesome lower back stretch. Maybe we find an arm balance here. Maybe we find a little of each. Have fun wherever you are. So with the arm balance, placing, finding curl, placing the hands shoulder width apart, spreading the fingertips, and just start to maybe press the weight into the back of the arms. So maybe we stay right here just rocking the weight onto the arms. Maybe we start to lift up one foot at a time, just kind of experimenting what that's like. And maybe we take the full crow, placing the hands onto the triceps, lifting both toes, breathing wherever we are. If you have a pillow before you and you want to try this, just place it in front of the face for some trust. And then we can spend some time playing in that. When you're done, just come to a child's pose. I'm done with that. Toes together, knees wide. And just let the arms lengthen out before you let the heart and head descend toward the earth. Let the breath start to flow naturally. And then we can gently walk ourselves back up and finding a twist to release ourselves from that practice and, nice, and ground ourselves as well. We'll let the legs lengthen out and just let that right foot bend in, placing the sole of the foot on that inner thigh. Wrap the left arm around the right shin bone here. The right arm can come behind us. Inhale to lift, exhale to twist. And maybe this is good. Maybe we cross that left elbow on the outside of the right thigh. Maybe our gaze looks over that right shoulder. Inhale to release, and we'll switch sides. You don't have to spin around on your mat, I just wanna face you. So gathering that left sole of the foot into the inner thigh, right arm wraps around, left arm behind you. Inhale, lifting, and exhale, twist. Maybe that right elbow comes on the outside of the left thigh. And just relaxing the belly here, visualizing that inhalation comb from both sit bones up through the crown of the head and exhale, releasing it back down. Good, and next inhale, can unwind you. We'll bend both knees into the chest and just let yourself come down to your back here, letting the shin bones hug in. Taking any gentle movements that feel good here. and spend as much time moving or creating whatever shapes you would like to complete your practice. If you're ready for final resting pose, just letting the legs extend out. Arms can be at the sides, palms up. It's like the opposite of how we started in that nice strong Tadasana mountain pose. But just let yourself be supported and release here into the earth. Stay here for as long as you can. And we'll see you tomorrow for CORE with Justin.